hello friends uh, <coughs> welcome back in this video we will be seeing how to retrieve data from a store procedure using entity framework in MVC application <coughs> uh, when you are uh, working on database uh, first approach so I will be showing how to uh, uh, retrieve that let's uh, go and create our <coughs> database first so let me create a database just I will name it as new MVC app DB and click OK so our database is created <coughs> so for this for this demo I will be creating one uh, table with the user ID and first name and last name columns so just execute so your table is being created with the uh, three columns <coughs> I will insert a few records in it with a so <coughs> if you do select star so you'll be seeing some data in our uh, table so <coughs> and also let me create a store procedure with uh, pulling the user information so if you see this so user information you are seeing the first name and last name user ID so I'll execute this so I hope uh, you have a little knowledge on SQL Server so I'm not going in depth on this topics but uh, please go over the <coughs> SQL basics so you will understand how to create them so this is the procedure I want to hit from the MVC application so let's open our uh, Visual Studio and create a new application so go to file and select new project in the web just select ASP.NET web application in that uh, let's name it as uh, new MVC web app okay so just uh, click OK so it will show you one prompt one one wizard to select uh, which application you want to do and we'll let's select MVC and no authentication so click OK so it will create uh, the required folder structure and required files and it will also uh, create JavaScript files, bootstrap uh, class classes, uh, and uh, etc. Some basic uh, template has been it will be created by Microsoft. So, if you want to see that template, just once the project is created, just run the project. You will be seeing the basic template. So if you want to create an empty project, you can also select empty project. So we are working. Uh, so my intention is to show <coughs> to work on the MVC. So I just selected the default. So this folder structure has been created. So the some references and the config app start folder, the root folder filter, etc. The content has the uh, style sheets controller fonts Wi-Fi font and scripts you will be in all the JavaScripts and some basic view so if you go and run this one you will be seeing the default template created by the Microsoft so you can use the template uh, in your uh, new design or you can just uh, <coughs> clear clear the design and you can redesign them so let's so let's wait and see so how it looks the basic template later I will um, will jump into the entity model 
so this is the basic template if you click on about contact and home so this all are working the um, all working links so this is the basic template Microsoft has been uh, given in the MVC so let let's go and stop the project and I, I will add entity framework for data access layer just click on add a new item in the <coughs> here just select data and you will be seeing adio.net entity model let, let me name like model model entity framework let's do that give that name so you will be seeing one uh, entity data model wizard so here if you are working code first pattern or uh, data database first you uh, I will be selecting the database first so so I am selecting like I need to I need to create an entity frame model from the database so here I will give the new connection let me give my local SQL Express so databases so the new MVC is slow coming loaded text just click text connection <coughs> and click OK now after you click OK so you you are you are seeing some our desktop SQL server SQL Express and there is a connection string so this connection string if you select this uh, option it will be saved in your config file so that that will be useful so use that so there is a new MVC app Debian just copy that so it will be useful for uh, to uh, call the store procedure entity model so let's click on the next and you will be seeing like what what uh, things you want to pull from the database I'll select the <coughs> store procedure and you can select also table and click OK so now you are the entity framework will pull all the schema from the database and it will um, create the models automatically so let's wait on the EDMX file to be generated once that is generated you will be seeing the database schema diagram so this is what I have currently I have only one table with the user ID for last first name last name you won't be seeing the procedures here but uh, you will be seeing the procedures the you get user user details and you also seeing uh, a function generated for uh, this <coughs> because we selected the checkbox I import import to the function so if you, if you see the column information you will be seeing the user ID first name last name from the complex query so just click OK so here uh, you will be seeing the complex types so if you double click on it sorry so if you if you want to see the user ID first name last name UID these are the mo model you you will be uh, getting from the uh, when you call when you call the get this procedure you will be getting the data written like that so let's uh, go to our solution explorer and right click on the controller I'll create a new controller just name just I will say I will say name controller so here it will be <coughs> the basic uh, control is, is created with a uh, index action so one once this is created I will right click 
right click on the view and I'll, I'll say add view so I just I will use the just empty without model later on I'll add the model and the user layout page I'll just say don't use anything because just for demo purpose I will won't use anything so the default uh, page CSS HTML is created so let me open the new controller and on the top let's paste the whatever you copied previously the name let's say DB just let's initiate the DB entity once this is instantiated once if you select DB get user details so no parameter required so this this one let's uh, uh, send this in our view where return data so this return data I will be sending in the view <coughs> so in our uh, index HTML page let me let's go and uh, create a model I will connect to the model I enumerable here you can use our function like uh, whatever the function is created like uh, the get user details let's see get user details function so this this sorry this model so <coughs> once this model is created so what I will do I will I want to display the first name last name so here I will use this as a variable so this is the initiate you initiate this item let's display the first name and break last name so after that I will just give one HR so let's run and see how it looks good how it looks on the UI so this is how, how it looks good in the UI so here we are currently uh, just using the return model so that um, I'm just specifying the model here if you if you don't want like if you remove this model and save it and if you go and refresh the page that will work because here anyway the model which it takes is like the default model whichever you are returning so if you want to see like how it is coming from the database if you, you can just put a breakpoint and this when you refresh so you can you can you can see the quick watch the element which you which you calling the procedure and it's returning three values with the, that uh, model schema because the model schema has the UID first name last name so this is how you get uh, data from stored procedure uh, like I'm showing a, a small example how to retrieve how to <coughs> how to design this uh, in in more detail I will explain you in, in the next videos thank you for watching uh, keep uh, watching my videos and please subscribe to my channel for more videos Thank you. Bye-bye.